the French Tuesday's teacher, JB. Uh, today we are going to study English with a short story. And the title of the story is A Boat in the Top. A Boat in the Top. First, listen to the audio. He fills the tub. He fills it with warm water. He gets in the tub. He plays with his rubber boat. The rubber boat floats on the water. He pushes the boat down. He pushes it to the bottom. He lets it go. It pops up to the top. It floats on top of the water. The last practice vocabulary. The first one, boat, boat, boat spells B-O-A-T, boat. Next one, bottom, bottom, bottom spells B-O-T-T-O-M, bottom. And next one, down, down, down spells D-O-W-N, down. Next one, fill. Fill. Fill spells F I L L. Fill. The next one, float. Float. Float spells F L O A T. Float. Next one, pop up. Pop up. Pop up spells P O P U P. Pop up. The next one, push. Push. Push spells. P U S H, push. And next one, rubber, rubber, rubber spells R U B B E R, rubber. And next one, top, top, top spells T U B, top. And the last one, worm, worm, and worm spells W A R M, worm. Boat, bottom, down, fill, float, pop up, push, rubber, top, worm. Now, as you listen to the audio, please read along. He fills the tub. He fills it with warm water. He gets in the tub. He plays with his rubber boat. The rubber boat floats on the water. He pushes the boat down. He pushes it to the bottom. He lets it go. It pops up to the top. It floats on top of the water. Okay, let us read the story one more time. And just remember, the subject is third person singular and then present tense. So we need S. Okay. So first one, he fills the top. He fills it. So here, fills it. Fill, fills, fills it. He fills it with warm water. He gets in. Gets in. Chin. He gets in the top. He plays with his with his rubber boat. With this. With and H is silent. And with this, he plays with his rubber boat. The rubber boat floats on. Floats. Flow. Floats and floats on the water. He pushes the boat down. Pushes, pushes, pushes the boat down. He pushes it. So push, push, pushes it. Pushes it to the bottom, bottom, bottom. He lets it, lets it go. He lets it go. It pops up, pops up to the top. It floats on top.
top of the water. Okay, I'm going to read this one more time. He fills the top. He fills it with the warm water. He gets in the top. He plays with his rubber boat. The rubber boat floats on the water. He pushes the boat down. He pushes it to the bottom. He lets it go. It pops up to the top. It floats on top of the water. Now let us practice past tense. The first of all, fill is regular. F, I, L, L, and put E, D. And do not pronounce E, just say filled. And filled and get got. Play regular P L A Y E D and played. Float is regular F L O A T E D. So it sounds like teed. Floated or you can say floated. Floated or floated and push regular P U S H E D. Say pushed. Pushed. Pushed, P-U-S-H-E-D, pushed, let, past tense is let, 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 and pop, it's regular, pop, E-D, with an extra P, popped, popped, and floated, F-L-O-A-T-E-D. Okay, let me read a story for you. He filled the top, he filled it with warm water, he got in the top. He played with this rubber boat. The rubber boat floated on the water. He pushed the boat down. He pushed it to the bottom. He let it go. It popped up to the top. It floated on top of the water. Okay, this time I'm going to read it a little bit faster. He filled the top. He filled it with warm water. He got in the top. He played with his rubber boat. The rubber boat floated on the water. He pushed the boat down. He pushed it to the bottom. He let it go. It popped up to the top. It floated on top of the water. Now find the subject and verb. He is the subject. Fills is the verb. He fills water or top. He fills top. He fills the top. What? With water. He fills the top with water, and then he is the subject, and place is the verb. He plays and with rubber boat, and his rubber boat. He plays with his rubber boat. He plays with his rubber boat, and then there is no he, so either one. Boat or water. But float is the uh, verb, so boat floats on the water. The the boat floats on the water. The boat floats on the water. And then he is the subject. Pushes is the verb. He pushes what? He pushes it to the bottom. He pushes it to the bottom. And the last one, uh, it is the subject. And pops is the verb. It pops up. It pops up to the top. It pops up to the top. Okay, let, me, uh, let me read the sentences for you. He fills the top with water. He plays with his rubber boat. The boat floats on the water. He pushes it to the bottom. It pops up to the top. Now listen and repeat what you hear. He fills the tub with water. He fills the tub with water. He fills the tub with water. He plays with his rubber boat. He plays with his rubber boat. He plays with his rubber boat. The boat floats on the water. The boat floats on the water. The boat floats on the water. He pushes it to the bottom. He pushes it to the bottom. He pushes it to the bottom. It pops up to the top. It pops up to the top. It pops up to the top. Okay, let's go back to the first sentence. He fills the top with water. He fills, 
So he fills the top with water. He plays with this, with this, with H is silent, with this. He plays with this rubber boat. And the boat floats. The boat floats on the water. He pushes it. So pushes. He pushes it. Who? Push. Pushes it to the bottom. He pushes it to the bottom. It pops up. So pops up. Pop. Pops. Pops up to the top. It pops up to the top. He fills the top with water. He plays with his rubber boat. The boat floats on the water. He pushes it to the bottom. It pops up to the top. You listen to the audio one more time. He fills the tub. He fills it with warm water. He gets in the tub. He plays with his rubber boat. The rubber boat floats on the water. He pushes the boat down. He pushes it to the bottom. He lets it go. It pops up to the top. It floats on top of the water. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.